this is, I'm sorry, I've got to mention this, by the way. What is it like being the second most famous? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lie, you the know. The second it's most famous phone. It's about Little to Little Ronnie. I know. <laughs> it's crazy, honestly. From when we won the Champions League, it went a viral quite quite quickly, you know, from the things he was saying on the pitch and that. He's a cool little kid, man, honestly. His personality is top. Good on him, man. Come on, let's go upstairs and have a chat, come on. You have achieved so much. You're 23 years old now, 11 major trophies. That's 12 between us. <laughs> That's 12 between us. Is there one maybe that stands out more than the others? Honestly, I could never have dreamed to win this amount of trophies, you know, at the age of 23 is, is a joke, you know. Some people don't finish a career with what I've won, so. Um, but if, if you had to pick one, I think, obviously, last season, you can't really um, get much better than what we achieved, you know, to win that Champions League the way we did. Um, just um, a moment that I'll stick in my mind forever. It's, it's one of the best feelings I've ever, ever had in life. You know, it took a few days after to really, like, sink in what we achieved, you know. Like, I was thinking, have I really won the Champions League? You know, I had to look at the medal a couple of times. Um, you know, and I was speaking to Jack as well. We was like, how, how are we ever going to get that high again? You know, because it's so hard to um, repeat what we did. Um, I was almost a little bit sad about it, thinking, you know, it's, it's gone now yeah. that quick. And I was thinking, how are we going to get that high again? But I think the only way to do it is try and do it again. When you go onto the pitch as a player playing for City, is there an element of, we'll win this? Because, because people that watch your games, think, well, City will win this. Oh, yeah, City will win that. Do you have that as well as a player? I think without being too arrogant, I think that's how we have to go in the game, you know, knowing that we're champions and, yeah, it's more of a confidence thing, like, you want to go in the game believing that you're going to win. Um, and the players that we've got, like, early, you know, you, you go into the game thinking now that he's going to score every game. And it's just a nice feeling for us attackers, you know, to have a play like that, that takes the pressure off you a little bit, do you know what I mean? Mm, he's, he's, a, he's a proper centre forward in regards, take away the footballing side of it, if he doesn't get those assists coming in, those emojis, <laughs> shouts, moans. I love he it, shouts at you, he shouts at I everybody. Love it, honestly, Typical yeah. number nine. I love the way he is, you know what I mean? I love that like, he always wants more from himself. He's not just happy with how he is, you know? And he's still so young, it's crazy to say it. And, and what he did last year is just, I don't, I don't think we'll ever see it again, to be honest, unless he breaks his own record. Um, yeah, like I said, he's so demanding on himself. And if we can find him in them areas, we know he's always going to be in the right position. He's got this instinct for goal and, like I say, it's just a pleasure to play with someone like, like this good. The way that you play the game, from what it looks like, very off the cuff, very, I'm playing with my mates, five aside. And do you do you ever get a phone call from the lads saying to you, <laughs> Phil, please play for us at the weekend? <laughs> All the time, mate. I always get asked to play five aside or play this game. I'm like, lads, honestly, I can't play in the Premier League football. I can't do that. You know what I mean? You've been tempted. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they have, yeah. But you know, I can't really be doing that now. Imagine if I got injured or something. They'd Gosh. kill me. Imagine they'd news. kill me. That'd be news. <laughs> I know. Your family would kill I know, you as well. Yeah. But like you said, the, the way I play is just my style. I've always played from the age of five, just playing out with my mates, you know, I've, I've not changed one bit and I remain just keeping that style of how I play and yeah, I just love it. Pep Guardiola. Have you ever seen him uh, not thinking about football and just relax and just a normal person? Not much, but I only, the only time I've ever seen this is when we win after he's so relaxed. When we win something, he's, he's a whole different person. He comes off a bit, he's just dead relaxed and yeah, he's really happy. So that's the only time I really see him properly relax and just himself. Everything else is football? Everything else is football. <laughs> Does he ever sort of go straight into football mode because he thinks, I'm too relaxed here, the boys have seen me too relaxed? You know, just it's not to talk about football around him. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> if you see him relax, just don't ever speak about football because <laughs> he'll be straight back on it. So you try <laughs> you to, keep, to keep, quiet, keep, keep that away. topic away from him? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So tell us, Phil, what are your personal ambitions then? You've won 11 major trophies already. What is there left for you to do? I think personally for me, I want to try and be one of the best players in the Prem this year. I want to try and show people what I can do, whether it's in that cent centre role where I played against Newcastle or out wide. You know, I want to get a run of games and get back in flow and show people what I'm about. I think that's my aim.